you, what do you think of Twitter's ability to generate revenue? You have a business that generates revenue from people's social. So you, you do sponsored, you provide sponsored tweets, right? Um, how does that help Absolutely. Twitter? How does that help Twitter earn any money? They're not earning any money out of what you do, are they? They're not earning money directly out of what we do, but they have their own offering through promoted tweets. And that is the primary driver of their business right now. Uh, they are seeing phenomenal growth and advertiser interest in that platform. Uh, Q3, they did about $168 million in, in ad revenue. That was double what they did last year. How ready are people on Twitter to accept sponsored tweets to accept promotional promotions in the middle of what is supposed to be a social conversation? Well, I, I think that one of the things that is really interesting about Twitter is that uh, marketers and promoters have always been a big part of that platform. Whether you look at the media companies, whether you look at the packaged good companies, Everybody has Twitter logos on their websites, on their packaging. So it's always been part of that entire ecosystem. I think that people are uh, very comfortable with advertising on Twitter, and there's just a tremendous amount of promotion that happens on the platform. So it, it goes hand in hand, and it's a very natural fit. So do you think um, that they have... You, you, you said that you think the Twitter... Uh, is maybe expensive compared to Facebook, but how much room do they have for growth in terms of revenue and user growth? I, I think that they are a little bit expensive right now. I mean, if you look at 2012 revenue for Facebook versus Twitter, you know, Twitter's looking at a, a 32 times 2012 uh, revenue for this IPO. At the same time, they have a tremendous amount of room for growth. I mean, they could do a billion dollars in revenue next year, and Facebook just is not going to grow at that same clip. So you've got 200 million users on one side. You've got 1.2 billion users with Facebook. Twitter can, can exponentially grow, where Facebook, it's, it's growing at a much slower rate. So I think that what Twitter is doing right now is that they are purposely pricing this where people feel comfortable, like they feel like they, they're getting a bit of a value because most people expected this to be at a higher rate. And hopefully, after the IPO, the stock actually rises and Twitter continues to deliver on the revenue growth.